what is going on with the world. Welcome back to my channel with the craziness that the world is going through right now we're kind of like stuck at home i decided to give myself a very interesting task to repaint my sewing machine i suggest that you do enough research of whatever item or machine that you want to spray paint if you are really fond of that item i would suggest to take it to a professional i am sure there are services where they can custom paint your sewing machine i like doing things on my own i like doing things myself so let's get to it shall we that's an homage to Threadbanger. I'm also gonna start a new series called the Sewing Cult and I'm gonna put anything that is sewing related in this series in a playlist. This is not really a sewing but it is part of the sewing journey and I'm gonna paint this sewing machine. So the tools I'll be using for these projects are masking tape, craft knife and an old paintbrush, sandpaper, scrap paper, surgical spirit or rubbing alcohol, cotton buds, and three types of spray paints, a white one for the base, a pink one or any other color that you want, and a top coat. First, I started dusting the machine, making sure to get in the nooks and crannies and remove all of the dirt that was accumulated. Then I quickly sandpaper the surface using a coarse sandpaper. In some areas, I had tape and stickers stuck to it, so I took my time removing them first before proceeding with the sandpaper. Then I wiped off all of the dust with a cloth, then wiped it again with surgical spirit to keep it dust free. I repeated this with all of the parts of the sewing machine that I wanted to paint. This should help removing the protective coat off from the machine and make the paint easier to adhere. Next, I made sure to cover any holes, buttons and extra bits that I didn't want to paint over, using a combination of masking tape and the scrap paper. Once everything is covered, it is time to take the sewing machine outside and paint it. I am starting out by spray painting the base and applying a few thin layers of coats, waiting about 10 minutes in between to dry. Pro tip, for best results when spray painting, always apply about 2 or 3 thin coats of layers and let it dry in between rather than applying just one thick coat. This might cause runny paint and uneven blotches. Also make sure that you are spray painting outside or in a well ventilated area. Once everything is spray painted with the base and dry, I went ahead painting it in pink, only needing two layers of coats to cover up any dents, and all of my pieces are now done. Ta-da! My sewing machine is now pink, but the project isn't finished yet. With the craft knife, I carefully removed the tape from the sewing machine. Because I used an acrylic paint, I was being extra careful not to scratch off the coats. And then, once the present is finally unwrapped, I assembled all of the pieces together, cleaned it a bit, oiled it and made sure that my sewing machine was working properly. And finally, my vintage sewing machine is now ready. I think this came out really amazing. I love the color and um, let me know what you think. Let me know if you want to see more projects like this. Um, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and also subscribe for more videos about sewing and about sewing for alternative stuff. 
and press the notification button as well so you'll know when I post a next video. I'm also thinking of doing some vlogs just to show you what the random projects I'm doing. Let me know if you want to see a vlog type and I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!